Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another P.O. Box Pickups video. Uh, I want to address something uh, really quick. I feel like that's something i got to get off my chest, alright? Um, it's about the Patreon account because somebody else started a Patreon account recently, which I'm all for. I just want to put it out there that I think anybody that actually puts production time into their reviews, aside from just slapping an intro or an outro at the very end and just shooting all in one take, you know, if you're shooting in just one take and you just throw in an intro or an outro and that's it, like, I don't personally think that that's worthy of, you know, considering yourself uh, worthy of a Patreon account. Um, past Shardimus Prime uh, videos, definitely not worthy of it, because I used to do that where I would just shoot in just one take, and I know the difference of how much time goes into just doing the one take compared to, you know, doing multiple takes and editing and all that stuff. So, this other guy I think is very worthy of having a Patreon account, and I wish him all the best in the success of his Patreon account. But what I didn't like was, and I'm not going to say the name, okay, but what I didn't like was that he said something like, um, I'm not going to be withholding of my content, uh, and I'm not going to. I'm not going to sell any figures, and I'm not going to. Um, I'm not going to sell any figures, and I'm not going to create new content for my patrons, and because that's withholding content from my viewers, and and I just want to make something very clear that um, the Patreon content that I have that I have is was specifically created for the Patreon account. Not just the rant time or not just the ranting videos. The rant time with Shardness Prime, those will go up for everybody, but the the rant videos is something I thought of specifically for the Patreon account, along with the big time letdown Spider-Man thing. That was something I started specifically to try to give you guys an incentive to put you know to 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 consider becoming a patron. And the fact is, is that not a lot of you guys are really doing it. I actually lost three patrons, which is like a kick in the teeth. But at the same time, I know that, you know, not everybody could do it. So if you've been considering doing it, please do so. Um, it takes a tremendous amount of time making those things. And I like making them. They're fun. Sometimes they're not as fun. Sometimes it's really frustrating. But do you know anything about stop motion? If you know anything about stop motion, you know it takes an ass load of time to make those things. Seriously. And I'm an amateur stop motion guy. I mean, I haven't been doing it for that long, but it still takes a long time. Taking all those pictures. I take pictures. It's just taking picture after picture after picture. And then getting all the sound effects and getting all the sound edits in there. Sometimes I use, I use visual effects too on top of it. So it's a lot of time. So if you guys are enjoying those. And if you want guaranteed access to the compilation video, I'm thinking of just making, I don't know, let me know in the comments, but I'm thinking of just making the compilation videos just exclusive to patrons. But the thing is, is that I make money off of those when I post them up, and it, and it creates a new incentive. So there's a new benchmark for the October 2015 Bad Month for Big Time Letdown Spider-Man to go public. So please check the Patreon account. One dollar a month is what I'm asking, so you can get those uh, Big Time Letdown compilation videos guaranteed to you. So those patrons, uh, check your inboxes. Uh, the Big Time Letdown Spider-Man compilation is in your inbox. Even the patrons that didn't pay for this month, I still sent it to you anyway. I may not do so next month, but whether you, you know, for the three of you that dropped out, I still sent it to you guys. Um, so yeah, please consider doing it. Uh, my whole thing is that if I'm asking more from you guys, then I feel like I should be giving more. So that's what I've been doing. I've been putting a lot more work into the videos and I've been doing a lot more giveaways and I still have, uh, I'm going to announce another giveaway and by the way, uh, Lyric, your package is in the mail so expect that within the next three days um, and I have another giveaway which I'm going to talk about right here but this is still leftover prizes from the contest and I have two others that I'm going to give away to everybody but then after that I'm going to have exclusive giveaways for the patrons only so uh, so not only am I giving you new content, I'm giving you guys figures on top of it for becoming a patron. That's how bad I want to keep this channel going. Because uh, we don't know. You know what I mean? We don't know. YouTube's kind of a shaky thing. So anyway, you guys give a lot. I want to thank you so much. And that's why I have that attitude. You guys give me tons of stuff. And that's why I try to give a lot back. All right. So speaking of giving, let's get to what we got over here and crack these things open. And I will announce what the prize uh, or what the giveaway is going to be for these uh, for these other um, pieces right over here. So this right here is from Nick. 
that, yeah, somebody had left a comment on Facebook, and I, it's like, oh, so something you just, would he write, something you should just do for fun, you expect us to pay for that now. And that's what I'm saying, no. The, the fun part is just doing, like, the little get, get down, uh, let down Spider-Man things where you see my hand in the shot, or I'm just moving the thing, but when I'm actually doing stop animation, that's new. That is specific for the Patreon account, alright? That's not a regular thing, and people forget, a lot of people have short-term memory loss, so they think I've been doing it forever, but I haven't. It is a Patreon thing, okay? GET IT STRAIGHT, damn it! <laughs> okay, enough of the, uh, the, the anger outbursts here. Okay, this is, wow, dated September 15th. Dear Shortimist, my name is Nick, and I am from West Texas. I've been to Lubbock. Um, it is a very small town in the central part of Texas. Oh, West, West Texas is a city. I thought you meant just West of West Texas. Um, it's in the central part of Texas, and I think Lubbock is more West than that. Uh, a couple of years ago on uh, April 17th, 2013, a fertilizer plant blew up near my home and killed 12 of my mother's closest friends. Oh my God, that's terrible. Anyways, we were displaced from our home, and while we stayed at a few different places, I found your videos, and they cheered me up. Well, thank you again for reading my letter, and keep up the great work. Sincerely, Nick. Uh, P.S. I drew some shard art for you. Wow, Nick, that is great to hear. That That is a huge gift, to hear those stories like that, man. For real, because, you know, it, it really means a lot to me that I hear... The, about, you know, cheering you guys up and stuff like that when times are tough. Because, like I've said before, and you guys have seen, this is awesome. Um, you guys have cheered me up during tough times for me, too. So, and this is really cool. Wow, another Wolverine! Uh, no angle pivot! And then SDCC Marvel D23 Marvel Legends Collector Core. Nice. Shardimus Wolverine. Cool, cool. Shardarine. Nice use of the crayons all over the place. Right on, man. Thank you so much. This is going up on the fridge. And then, uh, what was your name again, dude? Nick. Nick. Thank you so much, Nick. Wow. And yeah, thanks for telling me about, you know, and I'm sorry to hear about the power plant. That's terrible, man. Okay, this is from Scotty from uh, Ohio. I don't want to read this. I don't want to rip this. Oh, bomb. Sometimes I can't really open these things, you know what I mean? I hope you guys have been liking those videos where I've been posting like my, my little quick reviews on, um, on the TV shows, uh, on The Walking Dead and on Ash vs. Evil Dead. Uh, I appreciate you guys' feedback on that. This is just something new I'm starting, you know what I mean? So, it's something I've been wanting to do for a while, so it seems to be going okay so far. Alright, and it says here, Dear Mr. Prime, hello, my name is Scotty, and I've been watching your, your videos for a really long time now. You got me back into collecting. I mostly watch the reviews about Hot Toys and Marvel Legends and Star Wars. What is your favorite Hot Toys in your collection? I think it's the Hulk. Either the Superman or, or the Hulk. And what uh, one uh, do you think I should get out of uh, uh, the Bruce Banner or Hot Toys? Uh, shoot, dude. Uh, I, I can't read that. Chitauri Commander. Uh, Bruce, I don't have the Chitauri Commander, so I really can't say, man. I, I, um, yeah, I can't say. But Sean Long's reviewed both of those. So, And happy birthday again to Sean Long. And then Bubble came out of my mouth. All right. Uh, I like... Both, but I can only get one. Please keep uh, making videos that are really enjoyable. Thank you. And uh, I, we too, set, made fun of for collecting. Now I don't, uh, now it don't bother me, so thank you. All right, so he used to get picked on for collecting, and, or, and now it doesn't bother him so much. Good, man. Be confident in yourself. That's, I, can, I cannot emphasize that enough. When I was young growing up, I did not have any self-confidence, I tell you that. Still, sometimes now I, 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 uh, it creeps up on me, and I, and I lose like my footing for a second, you know, in the self-confidence department. It could be things can get discouraging sometimes, you know. It just never ends. Anyway, uh, there's Ultron, looking very cool. I like that. More of a comic book version of Ultron, which I like. And then we have the Avengers logo right over there. Yeah, nicely done. Nicely done. All right, we got another letter over here. And before I forget, okay, so. The prizes, or giveaways, we have from Kotobukiya, the Kotobukiya, Freddy, and Jason. Yeah! Giving these away right over here. Big thanks to Kotobukiya. Um, these are both going to one person, okay? And if you want to win this, you'll be randomly selected, 
and you have to leave a comment at shardimusprime.net under my Kotobukiya Freddy Bishoujo review. Just this one. If you leave comments over here, I'm not going to see it. You have to leave a comment for the Freddy. And I choose the Freddy because I like Freddy more than Jason. I just do. Sorry. So, but, uh, yeah, if you leave the comment over here, randomly select it, and both of these will be shipped your way, okay? And I'll have, an, I'll announce a winner for that next week's, in next week's P.O. Box pickup video. And then, um, yeah, so stay tuned for that. Just repeat, both statues going to one person, and you have to leave a comment on the Freddy Bishojo statue at shardmasprime.net. Link is below. All right, this letter is from Taylor from New Jersey. And open, 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 open. How do you like my open song? Okay, hey, Shardimus. Uh, oh, this is October first. Spoiler alert. This is gonna get rambly. It's just how I work. Sorry. Anyway, big fan, first time writer. Gotta say, you're doing great. And I too enjoy Hasbro's Neo Classic Iron Man. Thank you. Uh, kind of random, yeah, but your review of it helped me to get it. Uh, as a quick aside, I enjoy figure photography and have a deviant art page. It's not ACBA level, but I still think it's worth a look see. Uh, it's called greendiablo.deviantart.com. So, Green Diablo is his username at DeviantArt. That's also a bit of a plug for myself. Sorry, it's all good, dude. Okay, so questions. Number one, will you be getting the Figma Hulk? Uh. I th um, oh, that's Figma Arts Hulk. Yes, I have pre-ordered the Figma Hulk. Regrettably. Um, it probably won't be worth it. <laughs> See? Okay, like mine's right here. It probably won't be worth it because it kind of looks like Hasbro's Movie Hulks, but it looks to be a marked improvement over the big time letdown Figma Arts. Yes. And it says here, two. Are you going to get the Figma Solid Snake? No, I will not. Uh, for Smash Brothers reasons, uh, worst my copy has a super loose waist. Ooh, that sucks. But no, I, I, I don't think I'm getting a snake. Um, if I were to make a cut, and then three, it says if I were to make a custom superior Iron Man, what would be a good base? I think the extremist armor Iron Man would be a good base body mold for that, right? Hmm. Because it's kind of a sleeker, thinner armor, and I really like that armor, by the way, the superior Iron Man. I think the extremist. Um, and speaking of extremists, because I recognize the legs, Alfonso, I'll be having the rescue armor review up soon this week. Alright, and it says that, and I know you said max three questions, but this is a quick one, I swear. Uh, you ever consider getting the knockoff Hulkbuster? I'm not really familiar with that, so I have to look at pictures, but I might. I don't know. You know the one Glenn, uh, Glenn Webb reviewed? I uh, got mine for seven bucks. I was honestly curious for some reason. Oh, I think you're talking about a Marvel Legends Hulkbuster. Nah, I wouldn't get that. Um, I have to. I guess I have to see that review. Uh, well, that's all I have to say. So thanks and keep being awesome from Taylor. P.S. After having written this, I found the answer. Extremis took me a couple shots to rewrite this correctly. Wow, it, uh, that's that's just pretty funny that you, you wrote extremists. That's that's yeah. Okay, like mine's. That, that is too funny, man. All right. So um, now we have. Uh, shoot, should I wait for this? Uh, yeah, we're kind of running out of time over here. Okay, I'm gonna open up this package. Uh, other letters we'll save till next week. Um, damn it, I forgot my damn knife. I gotta use my pocket knife over here and I'll reach in here. And I got lots of keys. Okay, this is from Alfonso. I bought this off of him. He wanted to send it to me, but I PayPal'd him before he could just send it. Haha, <laughs> got you. Um, I am just super, super grateful for him even finding this for me because I've been wanting it so, so bad. And I finally have it. And I know exactly what it is. And, oh my god. Oh yes. Oh yay. Oh yay. Oh yay. Ay que rica. Mira el fasma. Ay mira esa fasma. Oh, ay que bonita. Oh, finally. All oh, right, on man. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I cannot wait to open up. I want to open the figure. Oh, jeez. No, oh, she looks great. I cannot wait. I don't know why I'm so stoked off of this. The the silver paint here looks a lot shinier than I expected. So I'm very pleased. Already looking at this in the package. So Captain Phasma, and thanks to Jaime, the last two uh, figures from Series Two Black Series will be in my possession very very soon. Uh, he found a Poe Dameron and his X-Wing gear and then that other character with the triangle head. I can't remember the name of it. I'm sure you're gonna let me know in the comments. Uh, 
I have it on my phone somewhere, but yeah. All right, thank you so much, you guys, for sending the letters my way. If you guys want to see the Big Time Letdown Spider-Man compilation, check out the Patreon account. I'm asking $1 a month, which adds up to $12 a year, which equals to minimum wage in San Francisco for one hour's worth of work. I don't think I'm asking too much. And while I'm asking for that, I'm also asking you guys to send your letters and artwork over to Short Miss Prime, P.O. Box 384, Pacifica, California, 94044. I'll catch you guys later. Peace!